Going gluten-free has become increasingly popular these past few years, and a lot of people are banning gluten from their plates, and tons of new gluten-free options are popping up everywhere. Among the reasons for going gluten-free are celiac disease and gluten sensitivity, but also weight loss and curing gut inflammation. But is gluten actually bad for you? Should you actually be banning it? Here's the truth on gluten and whether or not you should go gluten-free. Gluten is the general name for for the prolamin proteins that are found in wheat, barley, and rye. Gluten is made up of hundreds of different proteins, but the main ones are gliadin and glutenin that you can find in wheat. They are very elastic and provide the food with a chewy texture and also will help it maintain its shape. Is gluten bad for you? Many people claim that adopting a gluten-free lifestyle has many benefits, such as weight loss, less bloating, less abdominal pain, etc. Well, first of all, it's important to differentiate those who suffer from celiac disease, which is around 1% of the population, and those who suffer from gluten intolerance, again, around 1% of the population, from those who do not. For these people, yes, 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 gluten should absolutely be avoided and gluten is bad for them. The proteins that make up gluten are very long and difficult to digest, and for those who suffer from celiac disease or gluten intolerance, the incomplete digestion of gluten proteins leaves large peptides that can then cross the barrier of the small intestine. This can trigger an immune response or inflammation which can damage their, the lining of their intestine. This results in a lot of pain and the malabsorption of certain nutrients and common symptoms of this include weight loss, diarrhea, anemia, osteoporosis, skin diseases. As usual, if you're interested in the sources for what I'm saying, then check out my blog post in the description. And the only way to stop experiencing these symptoms is to stop gluten completely and to avoid any products that contain gluten, which is really, really hard because so many products contain gluten. So again, if you're one of these people and this can be diagnosed by an intestinal biopsy or even a blood test, I think, for celiac disease, then gluten is bad for you and you should avoid it. But what about for the rest of the population? Why you shouldn't go gluten-free? So many people who don't suffer from celiac disease or don't suffer from gluten intolerance are choosing to go gluten-free. However, studies show that this has actually no benefit for this part of the population and it can even have some adverse effects. Gluten is such a huge component of the Western diet that if you cut it out without any compensation, then you're putting yourself at risk for some deficiencies. Many foods that have gluten are filled with nutrients like whole grain, which is full of healthy fiber. And fiber is excellent for your health. It helps maintain your gut good, your good gut bacteria happy and helps it thrive, helps with good gut health, helps you maintain your weight. Fiber can also prevent diseases like obesity, diabetes, and can help improve your digestion, etc. And I have a whole video on the benefits of fiber and in which foods you can find fiber that you can check out right here or in the description. So cutting out gluten means cutting out tons of fiber rich foods for no reason and that's really too bad. Studies also show that many gluten-free foods aren't enriched like other foods and may also lack certain nutrients like folates, iron, etc. Gluten-free foods also contain more trans fats and lipids and salts than their gluten-full <laughs> counterparts. And a study that analyzed over 3,000 food products found that gluten-free foods were not superior to the regular food items that contained gluten. On the contrary, actually, they had lower fiber and protein content and the people who followed these gluten-free diets often did not consume enough nutrient-dense foods to meet all of their nutritional recommendations. A study also showed that consuming gluten was associated with lower risks of coronary heart disease. And this may be because cutting out gluten means cutting out a lot of whole grains that have healthy fiber and that is found to be beneficial for heart disease and lifestyle in general. Gluten is also inversely associated with type 2 diabetes, meaning that people who ate more gluten had less chances of developing type 2 diabetes. And again, this is probably because they are cutting out beneficial cereal fibers if they are going gluten-free. Other reasons for not going gluten-free is because it is very expensive and the products are not available everywhere 
and also it can put a strain on your social life because the diet is pretty restrictive and this can lead to some psychological consequences. As for the argument that our ancestors didn't eat gluten so we shouldn't eat gluten, well first of all it may not even be true because the analysis of their tools and their teeth showed that they did consume legumes and starches and grains and even if they didn't our diets are just too different now for gluten to even have an impact like even the fruit and vegetables that we eat are entirely different from the ones that our ancestors ate so there's really no point in cutting out gluten if the only reason you're doing it is to mimic your ancestors diets but why do i feel better after cutting out gluten it's not uncommon for people to start to feel better after going gluten free and it's not necessarily people who are actually intolerant to gluten or who have celiac disease. This is because cutting out gluten often means cutting out a bunch of processed foods like junk food, fast food, and tons of like refined cakes and cookies and super sugary cereal and things like that. However, the gluten is not the problem in these foods. The problem is the high calorie, high fat, high sugar, low nutrient combo. Many people report that cutting these foods out leads to a better digestion, leads to feeling more energized, leads to being in a better mood, etc. So people are really likely to attribute these healthy benefits to cutting out gluten when in reality, it's just that they're cutting out these processed foods and they are replacing them with more fruit and vegetables, more healthy proteins and things like that. If you feel like this is the case for you, then why not get tested so that you know if it is a good idea for you to actually cut out gluten or not. And studies also show that if you suffer from irritable bowel syndrome or IBS and you feel like cutting out gluten helps alleviate your symptoms, well actually it may be because you're cutting out FODMAPs. They are fermentable polyols or saccharides that are found in foods like wheat and beans and they are indigestible. So so actually having a diet low in FODMAPs may be more effective for you than a diet low in gluten. Some of the foods overlap, but not all. And another study showed that for people on low FODMAP diets, gluten did not trigger any of their gut symptoms. In short, gluten refers to the different proteins that are found in grains like pasta, bread, cereal, flour, and barley, etc. And while more and more people are choosing to go gluten-free, the science does not actually support it. Unless you're suffering from celiac disease or gluten sensitivity, in which case you should absolutely cut out gluten, if not, then the pros of gluten actually outweigh the cons. Cutting out gluten can lead to nutritional deficiencies, can lead to a lack of important healthy beneficial fiber, and can is also correlated with the increase of certain diseases. While giving up cupcakes can be beneficial, giving up foods like oatmeal or whole wheat foods is really, really a shame. So instead of going gluten-free, stick to eating whole healthy foods, plenty of fruit and vegetables, healthy fats and proteins, and it will be much better. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.